Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your bro, hope you're doing well. And in this video, I'm going to explain dictionary comprehensions in Python. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Okay, people, dictionary comprehensions. They're very similar to list comprehensions, except they're with dictionaries. That's it, video over. Okay, but seriously, a dictionary comprehension is a way to create dictionaries using an expression, and they can replace for loops and certain lambda functions. And all we have to do is follow this formula, dictionary equals key, colon, our expression, for key value in iterable. So let's go over a few examples. Our first example, we're going to take this dictionary named cities in F. F is short for Fahrenheit. I have different city names as keys and relative temperatures as values in Fahrenheit. So New York is 32 degrees Fahrenheit, Boston is 75. Los Angeles is 100 and Chicago is 50. And what we'll be doing is creating a separate dictionary where all of these temperatures will be in Celsius using a dictionary comprehension. So let's follow this formula. Let's create a new name for this dictionary. Let's say cities in C, short for Celsius, equals, and we will follow this pattern. First our key, colon, then our expression. We'll go back to this in just a moment. For key, comma, value, in our iterable of cities in F. And since we're working with a dictionary, we're going to use the items method. Now we just need to fill in this expression. There is a formula to convert Fahrenheit to Celsius and it should be on the screen right about now. So let's follow this formula. So we'll take our value minus 32. And just for good measure, I'm going to put these within parentheses. And we will multiply all of this by 5 divided by 9. And that is it. So we have our key, our expression to convert Fahrenheit to Celsius for key value in our iterable of cities in F, our previous dictionary. And let's test this by printing our new dictionary, cities in C. Actually, I think I'm going to round these numbers just so it's more readable. So let's round all of this. There we go. So New York in Celsius is zero, Boston is 24, Los Angeles is 38, and Chicago is 10. So we created a new dictionary using a dictionary comprehension. Now with these dictionary comprehensions, you can add an if conditional to the end of this. So let's say that we have a separate dictionary of weather, like a description of the weather in each city. New York is snowing, Boston is sunny, Los Angeles is sunny, and Chicago is cloudy. Let's say that we would like to create a separate dictionary with a dictionary comprehension that only has cities where the weather is sunny. So I would write something like this. Let's say sunny weather will be the name of our dictionary equals and we'll follow this formula and then we just tack on our conditional to the end. So it's kind of the same as before really. So key colon and we don't really have an expression here so let's just say value then for key comma value in our iterable of weather dot items then our conditional if value equals sunny because we are only looking for sunny weather and let's print this print our dictionary of sunny weather and let me just make this more readable for you guys. And our new dictionary comprehension will create a dictionary of key values where the value is sunny using an if conditional at the end of our dictionary comprehension. Here's the third example for you all. If you have an if else condition, you can add that to where the expression is within your dictionary comprehension. So I'm going to reuse the previous dictionary for the first example where we have cities and their temperatures as values. So we're going to replace each temperature with a description of the weather. Is it warm or is it cold? So let's do that using a dictionary comprehension that contains an if else statement. So let's say we have a new dictionary named desk short for description cities. It's a brief description of each city's temperature. So we follow this formula key, then our if else conditional for key value and iterable. Actually, I probably can copy all this just to save some time. Okay, so our iterable will be cities.items and our conditional is going to be 
we will return warm if our value is greater than or equal to, let's say, 40, else cold. And we will print our new dictionary of desk cities, description of cities. So New York is cold because it's 32, that's below 40. Boston is warm, Los Angeles is warm, and Chicago is warm. Now, if your condition gets somewhat complex, you can even call a separate function to keep your code more organized. So key, then we can call a function and pass in a value for key value in iterable. So I'm going to, again, reuse our city names and our temperatures, and this time we are going to call a function instead. I think I'll reuse this code from the previous example where we have a separate dictionary named desk cities, and I'm going to replace this if else statement with a function so let's say we have a function that is named check temp, and we will pass in our value, and we just need to define this function. So let's define that here. So let's define check temp, and our parameter is our value that we're currently working on within our dictionary value. Then we'll write if value is greater than or equal to, let's say anything above how about 70 will return the word hot. Then else if, let's say 69 greater than or equal to value, and then value is greater than or equal to, how about 40, then we will return the word warm. And lastly, else return cold. And let me just fix some of the spacing. Now, depending on the temperature that is stored within each value of our dictionary, we will call a function that will return one of a few different outputs. So it's kind of like we're using the map function, the map lambda function. So let's print our description of cities. And we should get a short description of the temperature in each city after we call the check temperature function and then pass in each value from our dictionary. So New York is cold because it's 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Boston is hot because it's above 70. Los Angeles is hot because it's 100. And then Chicago is warm because that is 50, which is between 69 and 40 within our function. So that is a dictionary comprehension. It's a shortcut where you can create dictionaries using an expression, and they can replace for loops and certain lambda functions. So if you would like a copy of all this code, I will post all of this to the comment section down below. And well, yeah, that's how dictionary comprehensions work in Python. Hey you, yeah, I'm talking to you. If you learned something new, then help me help you in three easy steps by smashing that like button, drop a comment down below, and subscribe if you'd like to become a fellow bro.